talking about chuckling, this has been a pretty funny state of affairs because I've been watching the Bourne's Identity um, series of movies starring Matt Damon. He got himself into a little bit of a funk because he tried to promote his movie in one of the worst ways possible, right? Um, so l let's go to the first article as from a couple of days ago. Uh, da, 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 da. This is it, yeah. This is it. This is it. Where is it? Come on, there. Matt Damon says this is from Variety. Matt Damon says he stopped using the F slur after his daughter wrote him a treatise on why it's dangerous. Right? And he says, yeah. Matt Damon said in a new interview that he stopped using the um, what his daughter calls a F slur for homosexuals after she wrote him a treatise explaining that the word is dangerous. In an article posted in the Sunday Times, the Stillwater actor, of course, actors wanting to promote movies. This is kind of. It feels like it's um. I feel I'm going to be cynical here and say that this kind of feels like it's purposely done because of COVID people aren't generally going to cinemas anyway, even though they're open at the same level they were in the past. And I guess, you know, um, production companies are obviously feeling nervous because they're paying these A-list actors a huge amounts of money to appear in these movies. They're spending a lot of money to make the movies get done. Even during COVID with the restrictions, it probably increases the amount spent in terms of wrapping up production. And then when you get it out, when you put it out, you want to recoup as much as you can and people aren't going to cinema. So in order to kind of gain get the attention of people and kind of, you know, stir up some interest and controversy. They just throw out these A-listers and tell them to say the most madness of things in the hope of kind of kept, you know, capturing people's imaginations and then making them want to go out and buy tickets. That's what my theory is because I don't necessarily know why somebody like a Matt Damon, who generally seems quite balance and normal he seems quite all right for an actor would come out and just say this and think this is okay especially in the current climate we're in at the moment um it said the stillwater actor was discussing changes in modern masculinity when he launched into a story about why he stopped using the offensive term which is he says was commonly used when he was a kid with a different apl application i don't know why but how different you can apply it unless you're talking about a, a collection of twigs i don't really know he said yeah i made a joke a month ago and that's in the 1600s or something right he said, yeah, I make a joke. I made a joke, he said, months ago, and I got a treatise, a treatise from my daughter. I don't know what treatise means. Um, Damon told the Times. She left the table, and I said, come on, that's a joke. I say it in a movie stuck on you. She went to her room, wrote a very long, beautiful treatise about how that word is dangerous, and I said, I retired the F, so I understood. I wonder if he said it again just one more time at the end, <laughs> just to kind of run it home. During the interview, Damon also reflected on a previous comment that he had made regarding sexual misconduct. Um, Damon had said, as the father of four daughters, this is a kind of sexual predation that comes up at night. Damon received a lot of amount of backlash for the argument of being that every one should be offended by that behavior not just fathers or daughters damon then told the times that he tries to shut the f up more so that he says that he doesn't make it headlines or too late he says two years ago the best way i can put it is that the journalist insisted sorry listen to the music more than lyrics of the interview now your lyrics are getting paroused and to pull them out of context and get the best headline possible everyone needs clicks before it didn't take matter it didn't really matter what i said because it made the news but maybe the shift didn't good thing so I shut the F up to be completely honest what he did if I remember correctly what he did say about sexual assault or sexual whatever the difference between that and rape wasn't necessarily a bad thing right I think he said something like oh touching someone's bum and raping someone are two different things which they clearly are but I think because it was such a highly charged time with the whole the me too stuff people just weren't wanting to didn't want to hear anything that would sound like an excuse of any kind of sexual assault or any kind of sexual misconduct so he just got completely written off but I don't necessarily think what he said was wrong this is just like a madness to say especially now on the back of what's happening to the baby for him to just bring out a story voluntarily voluntarily offer up a story where he kind of jokingly said the f-slur to his daughter who then corrected him and he then repeated the word again to say he's, he's over it and then repeated it to a journalist who is definitely isn't your even isn't your friend and then, of course, you know, his publicist and PR people were scrambling to correct the story. And he said here, he insists he never used it and he stands with the LGBT community. But you said in your own words, you did. <laughs> in article, da, da, da. But in a statement, Variety Damon said that he never used the word. He said, during a recent interview, I recorded a discussion I had with my daughter when I attempted to contextualize for her the progress that we'd made, that has been made, sorry. And though by no means completed since I was growing up in Boston and as a child, I heard the word whatever after used to the street before i knew what it even referred to come on so he's saying he didn't even know what he meant like 
these lies. I explained that the word was like, used constantly and casually and was even a line in a dialogue of a movie of mine recently as 2003. She in turn expressed incredulity that there could have ever been a time where the word was used unthinkful unthinkingly. To my admiration and pride, she was extremely articulate about the extent to which that word would have been painful to some of the LGBTQ plus community. And regardless of how culturally normalized it was, I had not only agreed to her, but thrilled her passion, values, and desires for social justice. Bruv, did his own daughter get him cancelled? Is that what happened? His own daughter got him cancelled. Um, I have never called anyone a whatever word in my personal life, and this conversation with my daughter was not a personal awakening. I do not use the word. That's what it sounded like, though. He'd said that in his own in the article himself. It sounded like he he got an awakening from his daughter not to use that word. Absolutely insane in it. And then finally. Um, obviously, you got the you know the article here from the BBC detailing it as well. But Jesus Christ, man! Some of these actors, like this, is goes to show again why I think Tim Dillon's accurate kind of you know um, tongue in cheek thing that he said in his podcast recently about athletes are just dumb and they shouldn't be you know required to be intelligent. They're obviously a talents. They got given gifts is to be athletically superior than most humans on this earth. And I think the same goes for actors. They shouldn't be asked for their opinions or their views on world affairs or on the cultural wars and whatnot. They should just be left to explain or to maybe talk about the inspirations for the movie, how hard it was to act, how much weight they had to put on, how much weight they had to lose. But all this stuff about, you know, getting them to talk about their life and whatnot, it just leads to them being in trouble. Especially when they think what they have to say is generally interesting um because i think he said another comment recently where he, what did he mention some startup that he failed to invest in where he lost him billions of pounds it's just like no one cares brother it's not as if like you're some underground art actor somewhere do you know what i mean just because you forgot to invest in uber or delivery or something no one's gonna see that and be like oh poor you people are gonna be like shrug and keep it moving no one gives a shit but he obviously sh shared that story thinking it was going to connect with people in such a dire straits as they are in now with COVID, with, you know, places on the earth are on fire. People are being buried in open flipping morgues and stuff and pile, bodies piled up on top of each other. People are losing their jobs. People don't have a job. <laughs> People's kids are without proper education. Like, And he's sharing stories about his investments that he missed out on. And in this story about <laughs> the f that he said or didn't say to his daughter, it's like, huh? make your mind up mate and then including the boston thing like oh celebrities these days man i don't know i just i miss the days gone by where you just were comfortable i guess because of social media maybe because of the demands that the production companies are putting on these actors where they kind of have to do all these press bits and you know clips and interviews online to drive the interest for people to go to movies because movies people are not going to anymore i don't know but i, just, I do miss the days when people could just actors especially would just act and then just do maybe in the actor studio interview type things and now be it but not not much more than that and um, not talk about world affairs or politics or whatever it may be and you know stuff that's happening you know in belarus and georgia and whatnot like you just you know no no we don't want to hear that from you we don't want to hear that from